Good morning. Uh, did someone just walk out my door? No. <laughs> I, I'm so, I was about to do the intro and I thought I saw someone. Okay, it, there was no one there. Welcome back to the channel. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Hope that you're having an absolutely beautiful day, a good start to the day, or maybe it's the end of the day, or maybe somewhere, somewhere in between. Regardless, thank you for being here. Hope that you're having a good one. Let's go ahead and listen to The Lark Ascending. We're going to listen to this composition by Ralph Vaughn Williams. Uh, which is apparently inspired by an 1881 poem of the same name. It was originally completed in 1914 and then not performed until 1920, just to get some background information on it. So many of you guys had suggested this piece of music, so I'm very excited to go ahead and listen to it. But not only are we going to listen to it, uh, I don't know why I started doing this, but with classical music, I've tried to find some performance so we can watch it at the same time. So this one is one that was suggested by you guys as well. We're going to watch uh, Hilary Hahn uh, perform this uh, particular piece here. And like I said, so many of you guys had recommended it. Just to throw out a few names, D.B. King, Pentagrammaton, uh, Diod... Oh my goodness, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I, some names get me for a second. Diogenes Agogo, Karen Pugh, and Cat Dub. Dave Tarrant, Master of Parsnips, which I love how it's all. like, and there's a bunch more that it just goes on and on and really on and on. Mario Sozi, I see you there as well as, well as Richard Furness. So I'm really excited to listen to this. I, well, I can pretty much tell you I've not, I've not heard this before, um, but we're going to find out shortly. Sometimes with classical music, especially there's those, those sounds and those pieces of music you may have heard, but you don't know really where they came from. There's always the possibility that this could be one of those as well. But as far as I know, I don't believe I've heard this. So uh, let's go ahead and give it a listen. I'm excited. I don't know anything about classical music. I'm going to say that till the day I die because I, I really don't. Uh, besides what we've listened to here on the channel overall. So let's give it a listen. Let's give it a watch. I'll move myself. Let's see. I'm going to probably put it on this. Well, I guess I'll put it over here on the screen. So I'll move myself over here. I'm comfortable here. And um, let's, let's go ahead and get that started. I'm going to full screen it. Oh, I didn't even press. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Don't start yet. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I messed up. I messed up. I didn't even start recording for the actual performance. Like, I didn't press the record. It's a whole thing. All right. Now I'm ready. Let's go ahead and give it a listen. Here we go.
mesmerizing. That is chilling, chillingly beautiful. brought to an absolute silence. And this is just pure elation.
This was gorgeous. I, I have nothing to say.
Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Um, <laughs> okay. Where do you begin with a piece like that? Where do you even start when, when discussing the Lark Ascending? Absolutely majestic. Majestic in feeling the playing from all of the musicians here. Obviously, Miss Han. Just, just stunning. <laughs> that, that that was so graceful, so elegant, so th that was am amazing. I, I really don't even know what to say. Okay, so there's one moment in there. There's several where this happens, but there's one moment in there near the beginning as the orchestra slowly, and I'm, I do mean so slowly, just begins to stir and swell in the back. There's a certain note that was played and a chord, and I, I didn't have like the times up, so I wasn't paying attention to when things happened. But when it was played, I felt that feeling like you're about to cry. Like, you know, when your chest gets tight, you, you feel that, I don't even know, that you feel that tightness in your throat. I felt that. As soon as that chord hit, it was near the beginning when the orchestra first begins to come in. And as soon as I heard that, I said, oh, this is going to be one of those pieces. Right? <laughs> so many more times did that exact same scenario happen. This is one of those pieces of music that... If I was, if I was more like, if I lean towards crying towards music and from listening to music, not that I'm against it or, or anything like that. I just mean, I've never really had, as far as I can tell, that kind of emotional response to it, to where I'm actually brought to tears. Uh, but if I was, this would easily be one of those tracks I did because there's something just so stunningly beautiful about their way that's played. All right. So not knowing anything about the, the piece or anything like that. Just the name of it, The Lark Ascending, A Bird Taking Flight. I think early in the morning, sun has barely risen. The fog of the, of the night has barely been evaporated. So there's still like this, this kind of hazy shade of morning, if you will. Grasslands I'm looking over, mountains in the far, far horizon. And this bird, this lark, begins to stir, to awaken. And then slowly it rouses itself from sleep, flaps its wings, begins to take flight, right? Has its flight, glides beautifully, doing whatever larks do. And then at some point, of course, decides to come down for a rest. I felt that. Obviously, that's the name of this piece, but I felt that listening to the music. You know, I would imagine that the, the direction is Han on the violin being that lark, being that lead, obviously, as she is. And when I was listening to the way the orchestra was playing, sometimes, actually a lot of times, they felt like literal wind beneath her wings. They would accompany her, they would push her, motivate her, help her to endure in her proverbial flight. And then, actually, once we're in the air, about halfway through, I would say, and this is just where my mind takes me and what I see. I don't know if this is actually you know, what the piece is meaning to intend, although I would probably guess so just because of the name of it. But then when you're in the flight, imagine the joy of flight. Imagine if people could fly, how fun that would be. Don't think about the consequences. Don't think about traffic lights in the sky. Just imagine that people could fly and how thrilling and how joyful that would be. There's some moments of pure elation in the music, especially because of the orchestra, which they played extremely well. I need to actually make sure I credit them specifically as well in here. Because I just mentioned Miss Hilary Hahn, and I, I don't know if it actually said, like, the name of the orchestra or anything like that. It just says here, Han, Hilary Hahn performs The Lark Ascending by Ralph Vaughn Williams at the George Enescu Festival. But I don't have a name for the actual uh, orchestra there. I would like to give them credit, though, because they did an absolutely wonderful job. But anyways, getting back to what I was saying is, in the middle of that flight, when she's leading, she's having a wonderful time. The orchestra is not just pushing her at that moment. They're not just providing that wind, but now they're actually going off and kind of doing their own thing. It, it just feels very magical. The flutes, the bassoons, you, the, the other strings, you got everything in here. Uh, you have a stand-up, what, bass over there as well? Maybe it was a cello? I don't know. I didn't really look. This is just one of those ones that I was mesmerized listening to. Didn't really want it to end, and yet it ended at the perfect time. Stunning. What am I going to say? <laughs> what what am I going to say about this piece of music that hasn't already been said 
Uh, how am I going to, how, how, you know, I'm just a guy. <laughs> At the end of the day, I'm just a guy, but I'm all the better for listening to that because that was wonderful. And I feel, I still feel that, that kind of stone in my, in my heart kind of feeling. Now, just looking at this, it says, uh, I'm just going to read some facts about this specific track. It says that, like I said before, it was originally written for piano and violin, but the composer reworked it for solo violin and orchestra after the First World War. Uh, just looking at some of the background here, it says that Mr. Williams had trained as a violinist, as a boy. He had a great fondness for violin. He had a, he had literary taste for English poets, and let's see, the composer's second wife, Ursula, herself a poet, wrote that in The Lark Ascending, Va or The Lark Ascending, Vaughn Williams had taken a literary idea on which to build his musical thought and had made the violin become both the bird song and its flight being, rather than illustrating the poem from which the title was taken. That makes sense. I guess that does make Like I said, I'm pretty sure that's what it was about, but you know, you never know. Uh, at the head of the score, Von Williams wrote out 12 lines from Meredith's 122-line poem. So he actually put this part of the poem at the beginning of the score before getting to the music. Probably to get everyone, the musicians, and everyone like into the mindset, besides just, of course, following what's on the page, but into the mindset of what, what's taking place. Which, let's read those here. He rises and begins to round. He drops the silver chain of sound. Of many links without a break, in cherub whistle, slur, and shake. For singing till his heaven fills, tis love of earth that he instills. And ever winging up and up, our valley is his golden cup. And he the wine which overflows to lift us with him as he goes. Till lost on his aerial rings in light and then the fancy sings. Man, that, honestly, that just made me miss reading poetry. I haven't read or even written poetry in a really long time. Really long time. It says that it's not known when or where Vaughn Williams originally composed the piece uh, because I guess the original manuscript was lost. So that's kind of, it's a bit of lost knowledge. Um, but it says that the work was dedicated to Marie Hall, a leading British violinist of the time. That was absolutely wonderful. Um, I, like I said, with this type of music, it's hard for me to like get into specifics and, and instruments and anything like that. I don't, I don't know. All I know is how I felt listening to the music. And I mean, that's kind of worth it all on its own. You know? <laughs> so to be honest, so thank you so much, all of you that recommended me listening to this track and I hope that you enjoyed watching the performance as well. I know that when it comes to classical music, especially, you know, there's different orchestras, there's different players, there's different musicians, and they all have like, you know, their own kind of style and their own little, little nuances, I'm sure. but. I hope that you enjoyed listening to this because I thought this was absolutely beautiful. Mesmerizing. So, anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. You can follow me on Twitter. You can support the channel on Patreon. And otherwise, uh, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, guys. And I will see you all later. Bye.